This is what it looks like inside the battery. It's nothing particularly high tech, just two meters of foil covered with black paste, rolled into a small cylinder weighing only 45 grams. Yet these are some of the best batteries we have. They power everything from laptops and electric cars to satellites in orbit. They are the heart of modern life. And yet most of us wonder why so little has changed since the invention of lithium batteries. Are we on the verge of creating a new type of battery? Let's take a look together. In the 1980s, the first commercial mobile phone appeared on the market. It charged for 10 hours to handle half an hour of conversation. It was impractical, but it showed the way, and it was clear to everyone that whoever came up with a better battery would spark a true technological revolution. A significant breakthrough for battery production came later in the 1980s, when lithium-ion technology began to come to the forefront. A British scientist, Stanley Whittingham, was at its inception. Experimenting with the use of metallic lithium as the anode and titanium disulfide as the cathode. His prototype could store more energy than anything before, but it had a major problem. Metallic lithium is extremely reactive, so the batteries overheated and, in extreme cases, even exploded. John Goodenough built on his work, discovering that cobalt oxide could serve as a cathode, significantly increasing battery capacity. A few years later, Akira Yoshino replaced metallic lithium with a carbon anode, solving the safety issue. This combination of discoveries eventually allowed Sony to introduce the first commercial lithium-ion battery to the market in the early 1990s. It became the foundation of modern portable electronics, and today is also behind electric cars and large energy storage systems. But how do these batteries work? It is a device that stores chemical energy and converts it into electrical energy. Each battery consists of three basic parts, an anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte. During discharge, ions move through the electrolyte from the anode to the cathode, releasing electric current that powers the device. During charging, this process reverses and energy is stored back. A key role is played by the so-called separator, which keeps the electrodes apart to prevent a short circuit while allowing ions to pass through. An interesting feature is the thin protective layer that forms on the anode during the first charge. Thanks to this, the battery remains stable and lasts for hundreds to thousands of cycles. The result is a compact, lightweight, and powerful energy source that can be recharged repeatedly. Lithium ion batteries today drive an industry worth $100 billion. They power everything from smartphones to electric vehicles. They have high energy density, long lifespan, and can be recharged repeatedly. Their production is costly and dependent on the mining of rare materials, such as lithium, cobalt, or nickel, which brings ecological and geopolitical issues. Lithium batteries are essentially safe, but their design carries certain risks. If there is mechanical damage, overheating, or a manufacturing defect, a so-called thermal runaway can occur, where the battery starts to heat itself, release gases, and in extreme cases, even explode. This is why companies and scientists around the world are racing to advance batteries to a completely new level. The greatest hope is placed in so-called solid-state batteries. That is, batteries with a solid electrolyte. Because the electrolyte is not liquid like in traditional batteries, the main risk of ignition is eliminated. In addition, solid-state batteries could offer not only higher capacity and longer lifespan, but also lightning-fast charging, possibly in a matter of minutes. However, production is extremely expensive, and scientists are still searching for the ideal material composition that would allow ions in the solid electrolyte to flow as reliably as in the liquid one. It is a huge technological challenge, but if it can be solved, we could be on the brink of a real revolution. Major players like Toyota or Tesla are working on the development of solid-state batteries, as well as specialized startups like QuantumScape or Solid Power. This channel is sponsored by Buddy, your mentor, and AI friend. Just enter Buddy FM and you can try it for free. Another great hope is sodium batteries. Unlike lithium, sodium is all around us, for example, in sea salt or in the ground, and is therefore easily accessible and cheap. The disadvantage, however, is the lower energy density. For the same capacity, sodium batteries are larger and heavier. Nevertheless, they have enormous potential where size doesn't matter as much, for example, in solar farms and wind parks, where price and capacity are the main factors. It is precisely here that they are already being tested today 
as a possible future for large energy storage. And then there is another important trend that is slowly coming into practice. And those are lithium iron phosphate cells, abbreviated as LFP batteries. They do not have as high energy density as traditional batteries, but they are cheaper, more stable, and have a longer lifespan. They are also much safer, less prone to overheating and fires. Tesla is already deploying them in some of its models, and Chinese companies like Build Your Dreams or contemporary Amperex Technology are starting to produce them on a large scale. Thanks to these companies, LFP batteries are becoming one of the main pillars of the entire global battery market. Great expectations are also placed on graphene. If its potential can be harnessed, we could have batteries that charge in a few minutes, last thousands of cycles, and are lighter than ever before. Currently, this technology is mainly in the research phase, but the potential is enormous. The lithium-ion battery changed the world and kick-started the digital era. But this is just the beginning. The advent of solid sodium or graphene batteries could rewrite the rules of the game within a few years. Maybe soon we will charge a phone once a week, an electric car in three minutes, and entire cities will run on energy stored in giant batteries. And perhaps right now we are on the brink of the biggest energy revolution since the invention of electricity. If you enjoyed the video and want to learn more, click like and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes about technologies of the future. Have a great time and see you soon in the next episode.